Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. Twisting away. And he'll get this back to just the 20 with a penalty marker down. Let's see what this is about. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Working from the gun, Lentz. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. Wentz now on first down. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. On first and ten, here's Wentz. And he's got it. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey, his second touchdown of the night. As
His guys are back within a single score. Elliott on for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. And these highlights here showcasing the solid game he's had. Well, someone woke up and felt good about themselves there, didn't they? <laughs>
Now after the fumble recovery, it's Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Throwing again on second down. Wentz. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. On first down, Wentz. Ertz over the middle. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. First and 10. Wait, 35. Empty. Empty. Watch the ship. Now Wentz again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. It's second and inches. Both seven the mic. Both seven to the mic. 57. 57. Hey, echo. 47 mic. Mike, 47. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 47. Again, it's wins. It's caught by Aguilar. Seven yards there and a first down. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. From the red zone now, wins. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, Four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock Alvin away and bring up second down. Both sevens and Mike. One gold. I hope you brought your lunch because I'm about to take you to school. What's that son? What's that? Wentz again here on second and ten. Caught by the tight end Ertz. That eagle first down there. Wentz to Ertz and the names that end in TZ. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first. They need Got a man open, it's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A seven-yard touchdown grab as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And he's such a talented tight end, just creates nightmarish tight matchups on the other side. He's so good that when we say tight end, we're almost damning him with fake praise, aren't we? Because he can do it all. He's as good as any receiver in the NFL. Well, that's the deal. He's a wide receiver, just in a bigger body. Bigger body, a matchup nightmare, and who's going to cover him? When I sit in the film session, I just look at the coach and say, really? Really? You're going to yell at me? You go cover him. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Michael Thomas now heading back onto the field. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's what really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They run it again with Kamara. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Now Breeze. Now Breeze lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And fantastic field position has them just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line in the red zone. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Out, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away.
Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Wentz going to throw. Forced out to his left. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Kill, five, five. Rip, rip. Wentz will try again on second down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Bravo. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. The quick slant caught. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They only get a hard-fought yard, but that's all they needed. It pays off the decision to go for it first and goal. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Hey, box drop, box drop. Wins the throw, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Hey, four down, four down. Watch the Shotgun snap into the give to Sanders. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practice the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Now wins, and this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Drew Brees in the offense. Down by eight, a little over 80 ticks to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Breeze to throw. That's complete to his running back, Camara. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That's not the way you're supposed to play it. He'll look to throw. 
Inside of a minute to go now. Two timeouts left. Still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here if they use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Back to throw. Oh, no, lost the football. Bree's one of the best ever in these situations as he's trying to get his guys set. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. From midfield, here's Breeze. And this is Cook with the ground. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. To throw is Breeze. Open man is Michael Thomas. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard.